What's up guys, my name is George, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the Void Bow, probably the second hardest bow to make besides the Fire Bow. This one is not that bad at all when it comes to firepower, but in the end, I will still take the Lightning and Wolf Bow over this one. Either way, it's not a bad one at all. Anyway, let's get into how to make this Void Bow, but first, I need to show you what you need in order to get set up. Before we actually get into the map, I want to emphasize that you should really have crawl space equipped in your Gobblegum lineup. It is definitely not useful at all besides this one bow. Other than that, never touch this Gobblegum. Trust me. First, you have to get an unupgraded bow. So in order to do that, you have to fill up three dragon heads around the map. This is the first location. You just simply kill zombies underneath it. Uh, you have to kill them slowly, one by one, otherwise you would not be able to fill up the dragon as quick as you think you would. So here, you see it does this animation, I kill one, I let it eat it, and then I go ahead and kill the second one once it's done eating. This is exactly like the dog heads in Mob of the Dead. And you will know when you're done, is when after about the 6th or 7th zombie, you see the dragon eat it. And it's actually going to breathe out fire, get into like this one stance that you see all the other dragons in, and then disintegrate into a whole bunch of rocks. You're going to have to repeat this two more times. The second one is in the anti-gravity room right below the church. You will know when you're done with this one, just like the other one, when it starts to breathe out fire, goes into that stance, and then disintegrates into rocks. Again, you're going to kill the zombies one by one. Take your time with it. You don't have to rush it. Just make sure you get every zombie. And the third one is in the church itself. It's going to be right above the fireplace in the church. You're going to go ahead, kill zombies one by one, just like the other two. And you'll know what's done. Once again, when the breeze out fire, goes into the final stands and disintegrates in the rocks. And you can actually head down these stairs right here and pick up your unupgraded bow. You can do this in any order you want. That was just the order I did it for that game. And now I'm going to show you how to get the Void Bow. So in order to get the Broken Arrow pieces, you actually have to go right by Double Tap over here. Shoot up in this little ceiling thing. And it's going to drop down purple pieces. It is right next to the Goblin Gun Machine, right next to Double Tap. Very easy to remember. You pick it up and this demon voice starts to talk to you. And it tells you to release them. I'm going to show you how to release them right now. So if you go in this courtyard right outside the church and you open up this door right here, you're going to see this purple glowing tile on the floor. In order to release the demon voice, which actually ends up being an urn, you have to knife kill a zombie right on top of it with your bow out. So go ahead, get a zombie right on top of that square, knife it as many times as it takes, and you're going to see this urn at the bottom. Interact with that urn. And it's going to lift up and it tells you to return that which is scattered. And I'm going to show you the six skulls you have to locate around the map. So you need to locate six skulls around the map, like I just said. And the first one is very easy. Walk down these stairs right by that urn that you were just at. And you're going to see it right here, right by Mule Kick. Go ahead and pick that one up. The second one, you're going to run up these stairs over here. Turn to the right, run up these stairs. And you're going to see it right here on this little windowsill over here. Go ahead, pick that one up as well. Then you're going to run into these rooms over here. You're going to hear a bunch of audio cues about matches and ripped off. And you're going to look in this toy chest and you're going to see a third skull in there as well. Go ahead, pick that one up as well. The fourth one is very close by. It's actually right next to double taps. Go ahead, go through these. Go through this gate over here. You're going to see right on this ledge. Go ahead, pick up that one too. And there's one more way to get up here and one more by the rocket launch. So right before you teleport to the rocket launch, you're going to look into the sink and you're going to find a fifth skull in here. Then go ahead, teleport to rocket launch. When you do teleport, you're actually going to go to this truck in the back and right in the back, you're going to see the skull. Go ahead, pick up that last skull and return back to the urn. For this step, it asks for you to sacrifice broken souls. So what that means is you have to actually give it crawlers for the skulls around that circle to eat so like i said before i highly recommend a crawl space for this see i got it right there i pop crawl space and all the zombies around me turn into crawlers already and it actually instantly works right away now for this next step i highly recommend subtitles 
because it is imperative that you remember the words that the urn tells you. You're going to hear now that the urn gives you three words that you're going to remember and it asks for you to recall its name to it. Now, these words are not its name at all. Just make sure that you remember them and you're going to have to go back into the castle in order to find out what its actual name is. In the castle, you're going to see these knights in armor with symbols below their name. And I'm going to show you what each symbol actually represents. If it says horn, it's going to be this one right by the church door. If it says stag, it's going to be this one right by the barrier. I got it, so I interacted with it in this game. If it says heart, it's going to be this one right by power. If it says griffin, it's going to be the one right by heart. If you hear crown, it's going to be this one over here right by the wolf bow painting on the right. And right across from crown, you're going to see door. This is what you're going to interact with if you hear door. If at any point you forget the order, you can go ahead, shoot the urn. And it's going to repeat the order right back to you so you will never forget it. So in my game, I got stag, crown, horn. So I interacted with stag. Then I interacted with crown. And then I interacted with door. You can do it in any order. It just remember to type it back in in that same order. Now, you might be wondering, what do these symbols mean? I'm going to show you the names I have for each symbol. They don't really have, like, an actual, like, word for each symbol that it spits out. So, I'm just going to tell you my terminology for each symbol that could be shown. It's not like it's correlated to each symbol. So, for this one, I actually call this one teeth. Uh, it just looks like teeth, that's why. This one looks like teardrops, I call it tears. This one looks like arms because it looks like octopus arms. This one looks like moon just because it looks like a crescent moon with a mini moon. This one just looks like a lobster claw, so it's claw. And this one I call bow tie, so it's very simple to remember. In order to get these symbols, you gotta get zombie kills and spits out a random symbol of the six. So there is a chance that you forget the order and you type in the wrong order. Uh, here, I purposely type in the wrong order just to show you. Uh, you're going to hear the urn complain saying that is not my name. In that case, it's actually going to spin around all the skulls. And if you stay in there long enough, it will actually kill you. So here you see your screen becomes a little bit blurry. It's not that big of a deal now. You're not taking any damage. But if you stay in here long enough, you are going to take damage. I run out of here before I down. And you, you just got to go and redo it again. So in my game, I got stag, crown, door so i went i saw it was moon then teeth and then door was tears so i had to type it back in the same order he told me just with the different symbols so here you see i go ahead i look at moon and i shoot the floor at moon and that's going to pop up the first symbol then i shoot the floor at teeth pops up the second symbol shoot the floor at tears that pops up the third symbol He's going to say some random foreign uh, gibberish, and then he will say, that is my name. When he does do that, the room is perfectly safe. The skull's going to fly around the urn. It's going to actually go into the urn, and you're going to see this giant light spike up in front of the floor. Go ahead. You're going to put your broken arrow inside that giant light. Don't worry. It's going to spit out your reforge arrow right after, and now you can fill it up with souls. So you're going to walk into the anti-gravity room, and you're going to see these four chests around the pyramid. This far left one over here is the one that worries you. Go ahead, put your arrow in there, and you're instantly going to get max ammo, and it's going to act as a soul chest now. Go ahead, start filling up the soul chest with souls. The little restricted area is this square around the pyramid. When you do get enough kills, you're going to hear a noise, and your arrow is going to glow. Go ahead, interact with this chest. Your bow is going to go in. And out is going to pop your upgraded Void Bow. The single shot is not too powerful. It does a little splash damage. And a couple skulls pop out. And they begin to eat at the other zombies. But the charge shot actually spawns in like this portal. And it's going to spew out a bunch of these skulls. And they're going to eat away at the zombies as well. It will kill about 10 or 12 in my experience with it. It's not too bad. But also not my top choice. But if you're ever stuck with it, it's not a bad bow whatsoever. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, follow my Twitter for no more notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be me teaching you guys how to upgrade the wolf bow.